Also want to give a big shout out to a lot of the crew here. We have so many people working in this tourney and it's it's running smooth as hell. So big thank you. Let's get into it. We got 8-Bit Man and Sego. Are we going to see a Pikachu? Are we going to see a Diddy so. Kong? I don't know. Why Why is the Diddy Kong there? Pikachu! All yeah. right. The reason why was I saw 8-Bit Man playing Diddy in his game before. So, yeah. Um, well, let's get into it here. Rob versus Pika. And 8-Bit Man, as we know, one of the, one of the better Robs. Definitely one of the best Robs out there. Uh, some crazy traps that exist. And I want to see what happens. He's been playing this character a lot during the Smash 4 days. So... Mm -hmm. He's been whipping it out on online from what I've been seeing. He's kind of stuck with it. And yeah, it's it funny. Good on it's him. funny when the game first came out, people were actually stating they're like, I uh, the this character is busted. And the reason why people said that is because everyone was so used to perfect shielding in Smash 4, and then they couldn't do that with all of his projectiles. Oh my goodness. Yo, Aphid Man already taking pretty good control of center here. Oh my god, they just both go out there doing a little bit of a dance there with that B-reverse and gotta make his way back. Oh, oh snap. Scary things almost have to break the men there. Barely missed that spike. Oh man. Or avoided. Let's see. It's war of the projectiles. It is, and nothing not for nothing. Sego doing a really good job here, just making it very difficult for 8-bit man to kind of get his way in here, so. I like how 8-bit man's utilizing his uh neutral air, trying to find trying to snipe the Pikachu right out. Now here's the thing though, I mean percents are climbing back up here, but the big thing that I know that Sego's gonna struggle with compared to the rest of this thing is just killing. Like, Ape it Man's gonna kill this rat, no problem. Pikachu's got a lot of work to do to kill this thing. That was tricky. I was expecting an up air to come out, just a nice little up tilt. Pikachu drifts left and then snipes him with a back air to end it, dude. Got another back air coming out. That back air, a lot of lasting hitboxes, good stuff. Oh, he's going hard. Oh yeah, why Ape wouldn't you? But he's, okay, hard. died. Rob died before 100. I didn't think it was gonna happen. Sego really trying to pull this back. I, he keeps going off the edge, trying to hit him with the down air. The back air coming out there. Oh, tries to go for the spike. Tries to go for the spike. What? Yeah, they're trying to spike he each other. He is dead. <laughs> There's bad blood between these two. Rob Aiden Roder. securing a lead, though. Rob right Roder, now. kind of a nuts move, dude. Like, that thing, that thing will just chase you off to the side. Oh, my God. And there's Pikachu being short, missing the uh, gyro. Oh, my God. Nice. Just, yo, just throw out that giant hitbox above head. Oh my goodness. That was clean. That was very fast, too. Just uh, like, literally under three minutes, game's over. Yeah, there, there we they go. They were hitting. 8 bit man taking game one here, and yes, things will continue here. Good stuff. I like seeing that. Like, Rob was making it, like you were saying, Rob was making it kind of difficult for Pikachu to just come in and do Pikachu things. But I don't know if that's because uh, Sega was trying to go a little uh, a little too fast. You know what I mean? Yeah, there's, I there's a lot. A, I see, like, a tiny bit of a campier play style if I try to think of, like, Isam. Just a light, light slower. I don't know. Yeah. But we'll find out. I mean, right now, that again, they were pretty close with, like, the first... First stock, first stock and a half, yeah. but then 8 Bit Man got a good Rob combo and just took him off to the side. So we'll see. We'll definitely see what's gonna happen here. I mean, I'm I'm excited, man. Like there's there's a lot of things that are going on and they are indeed just socking each other. So Oh yeah, that point, dude, that's where the momentum shift happened for sure. I wanna see Sego pop off though. <laughs> 8 Bit Man went for some brutal stuff. He was fishing for it. He wanted the clip. All right, running back into it here. We got 8-Bit Man versus Sego, and we got another follower coming in here. Welcome, sir, to the jet stream. Let's get into it. That was the completely wrong screen. I apologize. Let's get into it. Three, two, one, go! Ooh, Kalos. Okay. 
But Kalo is definitely a very good stage for Pikachu. He could do some crazy edge guards on this stage, especially with the wall jumps and some other things. But uh, yeah, what? Oh my God, he just buffered it again. <laughs> oh he just, yeah, he does not care. Oh my God. People don't realize that uh, that that laser at point blank does a lot. Mm, at base, so like if you were touching. Yeah, I think that's twenty. Like, it's no joke. Damn. Yeah, even I, I didn't know that. <laughs> oh, snap. It's back up. Let's see if he uses it in that way. That'd be really nice. Oh, no. Rotor catches him off the side. Dude. I'm just entranced by this. Yeah. Why is catching him with the rotor off the edge? If I put the blender right along the side of the wall, how do you get up? Yeah, it's, it's a very, <laughs> very good question. And again, these Thunder Jolts, I mean, a lot of credit where it's due. Sego knows exactly when to when to go back and when to go in. But as we said, this rat is so much lighter, but the directional air dodge is going to take it. He was expecting a tech. Oh, poor, poor, poor man. Nope. But immediate Resets rebuttal. It. He is out. <laughs> he sets it instantly. Oh, there, oh there was no spike. Go. Oh my goodness. Yeah, there was about to be a spike coming out of Pikachu. She was already buffering a down air off that. Man, they want to end it. This is a very aggressive Pikachu. Yeah, they, these two guys are, are really going at it. Oh my. Okay, lots of dodging. I like the projectile move. That was, that was, I don't know if that was. Oh, that is gonna take it though. Dang. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna cost him. Let's see if Sego can pull it back. We don't, I don't know if he wants us to be in 0-2 or not. Dig deep. Hit harder. <laughs> He's not letting, he's not letting 8-Bitman land. Uh, he's not, he's not, but at the same time, 8-Bitman's still alive here, 141. Yeah, Rob's a big boy. Off side B? No, up. Oh. Uh, Pikachu's gonna make it back, but gets spiked for it. Oh my god. I, you know, <laughs> that feels like a victory, but it wasn't. Oh my god, that just happened. <laughs> That's very unfortunate. And like that, 8-Bit Man going to take it. Sego sending him to the depths, but he didn't have a lifeline also going to the depths. Ooh. I wonder if that was the hit stun. If uh, Since he connected with the down air. If you you should have been able to jump out of it, but I think he just did it too fast. Yeah. Uh, That's going to take it, though, and we're going to be moving on here.